regardless of what mobile phone you have, um, you might have stumbled across the problem that the battery runs low pretty quick. Um, we're limited to um, lithium iron batteries at this time. Um, new technologies might be coming around. Um, lithium fluoride, for example, which could possibly hold uh, like two or three times the capacity. Uh, but um, we have to make use of power banks mostly because we are on the way outside uh, on a trip or something and we need power. There's no um, wall outlet. You buy a battery bank. This one apparently is an original Xiaomi power bank. It claims to have 10,400 milliamp hours and an output of maximum 5 volts and 2 amps. Um, I can tell you right away that this is a fake. First of all, because it costs 6 bucks, including shipping. Secondly, because it says Xiaomi.com on this site, and all of the original power banks just say MI.com. So, um, I already know that it's kind of cheap and uh, not original. Also, if you press this button, oh, I think it's empty. Actually, an empty battery. So, uh, we'll just plug that in here, micro USB. You can see that it's kind of cheaply designed in there and that the light of the LEDs, um, the light of the LEDs doesn't just shine through the hole, but through all of these. Um, it looks like, it really looks like this power bank is broken. How funny. I let it lay down here for like two months, and now it's broken. I mean, anyway, it was six bucks, and we might harvest the cells from inside it. But anyway, quite surprising. It doesn't just have like a tenth of the capacity that it was claimed to have. It also just breaks. So I want to take it apart and see which kind of cells that are inside. Um, according to the um seller it was original samsung cells in there or LG, lg cells but i don't really believe in it so um we'll just try to open it up and see what expects us so it seems like it's clipped in here clipped in from down there clip it out and uh you can now push it to the front Oops, could be Samsung, it's purple, purple cells, oh there's Samsung, nope, I don't think so, cheap ass Chinese cells, oops, that one leaked already, holy, holy cow, that's not good, <laughs> I mean, those cells, they, they might be in your car and might be 60 degrees in, in there and if they start like creating a short circuit from the inside it's gonna blow up the whole thing and um, your car is on fire might get on fire oops that's pretty cheaply designed I thought it was a little bit better at least I'm gonna clip the protection circuit out of there and see whether um we have A certain I see on there and yes we do but it's unmarked okay might just be a generic uh, charge everything discharge everything boost the voltage up converter for power banks um, I really think that the IC and the stuff on there is not broken but I think the cells were discharged to a level that the protection in here kicked in and said, no, I'm never going to charge these cells up again because they went over uh, under like two and a half volts and now some copper bridges formed inside the cells. If you're going to charge it up, they're going to heat up and probably explode. So at least the um, intelligent I see in there is kind of safe. Um, those cells are all in parallel. If it were original Samsung cells with 2,600 milliamp hours each, that would result in 10,400 milliamp hours. And I really think the original Xiaomi power bank features um, four Samsung cells like this. So if they're in parallel and one of these batteries leaked, 
they're all going to discharge under like two and a half volt or something and the battery protection might kick in and never charge these cells up again. You could now attach like a laboratory power supply to those terminals and try to get them up to like three volts so the protection I see might just say okay let's charge them but if one of these cells is broken they might have like a self-discharge of like 10% a day or something so I don't really think it's worth it especially when you consider those things are going to blow up might blow up um, this power bank is just a waste of money so I don't really would buy it not even to harvest the cells because as we see um, the cells are pretty cheap in here they leak for no good or no apparent reason and um, the intelligent I see on here um, is not worth it either so um, yeah that's kind of dangerous didn't expect that thought at least they would have like decent cells in there like 1500 million hours each or something but I mean they could be 1500 million hours each but I really think they're just the crappiest thing you could get I mean they're leaking for no reason and that's not good at all